What's up everybody? Today we are looking at the Latitude 64 Striker. It's a control driver and I think a lot of you guys are actually going to like it. So, like I said, Striker from Latitude 64. Control driver, yep, speed 9, glide 5, turn to the negative, negative 1.0. English is hard again and a fade of two. So with that fade, it's gonna give you predictable finish. Uh, with that turn, it's gonna be pretty, it's not gonna be super stable, but it's gonna be stable enough that it won't flip over too hard. And with that speed, it's gonna put it up there right around, say, something like a Saint. Um, but it's not gonna have the same amount of glide as, say, a Saint would. For me, the Striker is a straight line control driver just and if you read the stamp right on there it says stable control driver for accurate shots and that's pretty much dead on exactly how I would describe this to you guys stable control driver for accurate shots if I throw it on a hyzer it's gonna go on a hyzer if I throw it straight it's gonna go straight but at the end it's gonna have just enough stability to where it just hyzers out and sits it's not gonna scream and skip away from you on uh, Forehand as well. Uh, I was able to get a decent amount of power on it, right around that 300 foot mark, and it just it's, it'll softly settle. It's not going to go crazy. Now I can get it to skip, but that's putting some severe angle on it. And if you throw it normal, it'll sit down. So what I would recommend, who I should say, who who I would recommend this bad boy to is uh, mainly for experienced players. This is going to be a great disc for the woods. If you're finding that you're overshooting your target with things like, say, a Prod GF5 or uh, a Saint or an Eagle, if, if it's just got too much glide and, and you're trying to keep it controlled in the woods, but it's just it's going too far for you, or maybe it's getting a little too flippy for you, give the Striker a try. The Striker is going to keep that stability and not have as much glide. Uh, I would reach, personally, I would reach for this if my mid-range wasn't enough disc, I would reach for this. If that, you know, get that little bit extra distance, but know that I'm not going to have the glide to go too far. So that's who I, uh, as far as the advanced players, that's who I would recommend this disc to. For beginners, you're actually going to love this smaller rim. Anybody that likes the smaller rims, uh, this could actually start developing into a great tool to learn how to throw far or throw hard, I should say. Um, it's going to be more of a, a possible distance driver at first. If for those around that 250, 300 foot mark, it's actually going to be kind of stable for you. And uh, you might really like it on sidearm as well. You know, that 250, 300 foot sidearm people, it's going to be a nice stable disc, but it's not going to be like meat hook stable. So, uh, works on all avenues, works on all skill levels, and I think you guys should give it a try. All right, guys, so that's just a quick review of the Latitude 64 Striker in Opto Plastic. Uh, that Opto Plastic, remember, guys, is the Champion or Lucid style plastic, the 400 series, you know? It's that see through, good durable feel. So that is the Striker. And this one has been sent to me by Dynamic Disc. Thank you, Dynamic Disc, for sending this bad boy out to me. And as always, since it was sent by Dynamic Disc, that means I'm going to send it out to you guys. What do you got to do? You got to go in the comment section and let me know what is your go-to control driver. What is your, I got to get through the woods, I got to leave it straight, and I know it can't turn over. But I got to have it, I have to have it go straight the whole way. Uh, also, be a subscriber. Always be a subscriber. You get entered into the giveaways automatically. And uh, yeah, guys, so that's the Latitude 64 Striker. I enjoyed reviewing it. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever actually gotten to throw one. I didn't ever think to even look at one. And uh, it, it surprised me. And I think it'll surprise a lot of you guys. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, until next time, take it easy.